What is up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode. I did something a little different in this video today. You'll see here in just a few minutes. Um, but you know, the past week here, probably, probably three, four days in a row, it has been blowing like 30 to 40 every freaking day. It hadn't slowed down. Uh, so it's made everything tough, everything very tough fishing wise. So tried to decide, I got tired of sitting around at the house, wanted to do something a little different today. Wanted to get out on the water. So I decided I'm going to go pick up some crickets and I'm going to go do a little brim fishing. So I got out, I did some brim fishing and I didn't do too bad. So y'all have to, uh, y'all have to stick tuned to see the action. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's different. Not definitely not saltwater fishing. It's definitely not offshore kayak fishing from the last video. So I'm sure somebody will, will throw some hate my way because it's, uh, yeah, it's brim fishing. But I had a good time. I got some supper and uh, I got to slam up the kayak. I haven't haven't done this in a very, very long time. So it was, ooh, excuse me, it was neat to get kind of get back to my roots and uh, get after them. Got old Bo walking around down there. Say hey, Bo. Say hey, Bo, Bo. That's, that's my pup, Bo. If you guys are interested in a guided kayak fishing trip here along the Alabama Gulf Coast, whether it be Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, Fort Morgan, Dolphin Island, Fairhope, Daphne, Mobile, anywhere in, in Alabama, coastal Alabama, be sure to shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com or check out the Fishing Chaos app. You can see all my available dates, rates, all my good information on there, so y'all check that out. But I'm going to quit hammering on, I'm going to quit blabbering, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the video. Y'all stick with it. All right, everybody, we're in the water now. Like I said, we're doing things different today. Doing a little, little pan fishing. Trying to get some bluegills. Wind's just so strong today, can't really do anything else. So I'm just tucked back in this creek back here. And I actually already caught one. I uh, pulled up to the launch here and decided to throw. And uh, got me one. Wasn't a big one, but it was a bluegill so we're gonna see, see if we can keep that up hoping to find some good ones some nice big ones there we go looking for a good bit bigger than that that's a pretty, pretty one it's got like some purples dark color to them Looking for that one's one of the dang crickets. These things are impossible to hold on to. Hopefully we'll get us get us a nice nice cooler of some gills. Ah, just another little one. I think we're gonna move away from the launch a little bit. Might get a little bigger away from here. But I don't much know much about pan fishing. Other than we're real close to a full moon. And I think that's when they like to like to bed up and spawn, so maybe, maybe we'll find some big old bedding females. But we're just gonna start picking it around. Windy, like I said, blowing 20 to 30 today. Can't really do much else, so. We're gonna venture around and see what we can find and uh, hopefully we'll get us some big ones. So my game plan for today is just gonna hit these treetops. Um, did some trout fishing here in the winter. Found some, some big old stumps and trees that had fallen across the creek and that kind of stuff. We're gonna go back to those. Hit those, see what we can find. Oh, and I just took my bait. Dead, that little sass. Nice one. Hey, hey. Here's the first keeper of the day. Nice. Alright, we're 
gonna try something. Had a guy tell me, oh, Jeffrey Newsham commented on my Facebook post and told me that green fish bites did real, shrimp fish bites did real good for the bluegill where he was at, up in the northern part of the country. Do not have fish bites, but I do have some green fish gum. Just gonna put a little ball of that on there. Let's see how that does. Look at that, I already got a bite. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Hey, got me in the dang stick. Get out of there. How about that? Okay. Oh no. Man, that was a good one. Immediately on the fish gum too. Did not bring scissors with me today, so I gotta kinda like Pull it off. You know what? I do have my knife though. So. Try the knife next. Man, he he clobbered it too. camera off for just a second and got this good one. He ate the little beetle spin there. We're starting to, starting to put together a little box there. The goal today is to get enough to do a fish fry tonight. Might even do a little kitchen cook. Do a little curing in the kitchen. my camera turned off but I had something pretty funny happen kind of like I said I'm right on the edge of you know fresh and brackish right on the mix and I'm sitting here brim fishing got me a pinfish got a little old pin diddly he's lucky I didn't bring any kind of bucket with me so I'll probably hang on to him and put him in my bait tank at the house but I will say that is the first time I've ever caught a brim on a cricket that is a first for me. But I'm gonna keep on fishing down. There's one last little place right up here. You can actually see it just ahead of me here. Um, pine tree fell down in the creek and it runs across the creek there. So I'm gonna hit that, see if there's not any, any big, old, big old gills hanging around that. I think after that I'll probably shoot out to the mouth, try to get a trout or a redfish, and then come back up in here and try to, you know, try to get a few more of these brim as I'm working up, up the creek. But it has not been a bad day so far. 
all things considered, you know, 20, 30 mile an hour wind. And get out to catch some fish, get some dinner, so. Not a bad day so far. But hopefully I can, oh. Didn't even know I had one hooked. Another pin fish, dang it. <laughs> Might be time to start start switching my baits over if I keep catching pinfish. Pinfish is a good sign that we're getting into some, some little bit of salt. I gotta have some kind of salt. So there's a little bit of salt in the water. Obviously saying there's salt in the water here sounds a lot like something that would turn my camera off. Well, like I was saying, there's got to be some some salt here for this to be the pennies. Oh, that's a little bigger one. That's a fighter. What do we got here? Whew, look at that one. Nice. That's a good one there. That's I think that's the biggest one I've got today. nice well, all right as you can tell it's a pretty good day I, I think i caught like 20 or 30 brim uh most of them were pretty tiny uh but i did get did get eight for supper um skinned them up skin scale them up fry them up whole so it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it's uh different than saltwater fish i will say they have a very different smell to them but i enjoy fish and i'm gonna enjoy eating these as well so like i said i appreciate you guys tuning in today what is your favorite bait for brim fishing i was very surprised how well fish gum did today it did pretty well um kind of what i noticed was the um you know the bigger ones i got came off the fish gum the numbers definitely came off crickets but the ones i got on the fish gum were a lot bigger plus i was able to you know that i was able to to catch a few on one bait so that was that was kind of cool too so maybe uh, maybe something to think about putting into your brim bags a pack of green fish gum Big shout out to Jeffrey Newsham for that uh, for that tip. Um, wouldn't have, wouldn't have guessed that, but yeah, that's that's about gonna do it today. I think I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, shoot me the thumbs up. Um, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Trying to get back after it. Got got another couple videos after this uh, coming down the line. So make sure y'all subscribed up. Ring that notification bell so you get get it notified whenever I drop a video. But I'm gonna quit blabbering. I'm gonna get out of here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I will see you next time. Hey.